Hey, Tagwe. Hello, this is Sana Cody Ramos. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'd like to thank all my subscribers through the years. It's been 10 years since the Taino Calling song. I have published it on YouTube and shared it in ceremonies. And I'd like to thank you all for all your comments, questions about the Taino Calling song. This is my first attempt. I'm on Indian time. 10 years later, my first attempt to try to teach the song. And actually, um, the words, the significance of the words, because in our Taino history, words are sacred, um, especially those names are very, very sacred. So today is my first attempt, part one. Thank you all for tuning in. Please comment, like, and also subscribe for any future um, lessons that I'm about to teach. We're going to take it to the next level. I am Sanakori. Many people call me the Taino monk. For many years now, I've been dissecting the creation stories and trying to figure out, you know, how the semis cut of the of the ancient world can be operative in our life now. Okay, and I'll be doing some future videos on this, breaking it all down, especially those 12 semis. But today I'm going to focus on the Taino calling song, the original song that mentions two names. That's Yokahu Bagua Maracoti and Atabe. They're actually one being, okay, in my studies. But in this song, I broke it down into two. This was 10 years ago. I did not know much at the time that I know now. So I'm going to break this down slowly. Today, I'm not going to go much into the theology of it, the study of, of God. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the song, to the words. Excuse me. I'm going to introduce you to the words the name, the sacred name, and then a little bit on the music. I have my trusted uh, maraca right here that I'll be using. I'll be teaching you a little bit at the end. So check this out. Ready for this? I am Bejique of Arayeke Yucayek, and I welcome all of you into this circle as I open up this circle. Whenever you um, honor either through chant or songs, an ancestral song or, or words or names. It's always important to honor. And I'm always here and um, I'm living not right now in Lenin and Lapi territory, New York City. Excuse the sirens or the buses if you hear them in the background, but this is New York City. City that never sleeps, Lenny Lenape territory. So I definitely want to honor those ancestors that are with me here, Lenny Lenape, and also all my all, all our ancestors, the Taino. Okay, there's no borders in the spirit world, so they're with us right now. And I ask them for help and guidance as I teach you. So back then, 10 years ago, I separated Yokahu and Atabe. And I realized 10 years later, it's actually one. Okay. And when you put all the semis together, there's 12 main ones. You put them all together and guess what? I'm looking at the manifestation of God. Okay. And within this God, whatever name you have for God or the supreme being, spirit of spirits, whatever, I do want to say that there is a masculine and there's a, a feminine energy and it's intertwined as one. So in the song, I separate the two, but in reality, they're one. And this is the theology of uh, Taino spirituality, that dualism, two become one. So it's very important. In future shows, I'm going to talk about that. So right now, I have a, a representation of Yokahu. And that's Yokahu, or many people refer to as the three-pointer. I have an, an ancestral vase right here, vessel. It was probably uh, of, um, done in a burial, where they will bury either cojoba or bury some food. And um, this, I, I kind of recovered from eBay many years ago. It's actually broken, the bottom piece. It has no base. But every day when I look at it, I, I'm reminded how our ancestors were, were intertwined with the nature and, and with the numinous, the universe. And I want you to think about this when, when you sing this song, okay, that, that we, we, our substance comes from the sacred. There, there, um, there's no beginning, there's no end. It's a constant circle. It's a constant cycle of life. And we're part of that. And when we die, our energy goes back to that source. Okay? So I want you to understand that, that this song is a manifestation of all that. The many become one. 
So let's start. First of all, the first song I mentioned is Yok is Okama. Okama in the Taino survive through our 500 years representing listen, listen. So what am I listening to? Actually, I'm asking the creator, creatress to listen to me. And that's the, the first part of the Taino calling song. I'm asking for help. I'm asking the creatress, the creator to listen to me. So, so when I start the song, kind of give like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of a quick rhythm there. And this is how I start, Okama. Whoa, Okama, Okama. I'm saying, I'm chanting the word twice. Again, representing the dualism, the two natures in the one, masculine and feminine. Whoa, Okama, Okama. And then when I first uh, created this song 10 years ago, I mentioned Yokahu first. Currently in ceremonies, I always mention the feminine first now, Atabe. So, um, what is Yokahu? Yokahu Bagua Manakoti, according to Ramon Pane and the Spanish or the invaders, they had um, written down that we had this divine um, mother or creatress who was in charge of um, childbirth, lactation, and so on. And all the, the still waters, the rivers, and, and this Atabe had many names. Um, Suimako, Mamona, and this is the words that I use, the names, the sacred names I use in the song, Okama. So, um, well, I just mixed it up. I should have said Yokahu Bagua Marakoti first, which I, I begin in the in the song. So Yokahu Bagua Marakoti. See, I skipped to Atabe. I'm so um, used to referring to her first. But Yokahu Bagua Marakoti, Yokahu, the Lord of the Yuka. And I'm going to get into that more in further discussion. But um, Bagua, the waters, and Marakoti. Um, he who has no he who has no father, so definitely has this masculine energy to it. The Lord of the Yuka, uh, born of the waters, and has no father, and or no beginning, according to Pane. So according to um, um, also the Yoka, um, excuse me, Atabe. Atabe has several names, as I mentioned before. Suimako, Mamona. This is the sacred mother, the creatress. Why? Why is she the creatress? Because she gives birth to Yokahu. Okay, she gives birth to Yokahu. And it makes sense that he uses the word Bagua in his word because Bagua is, you know, the waters. So, yes, yeah, so he came from the sacred waters. And, and you know, all babies, all infants, we come from those waters. And when that water breaks, we're ready to come into the world. So, Yokahu comes from Atabe. So, it's logical that we say that the creatress has this feminine power of birth. Don't forget, our ancestors were rooted in this whole um, concept of the numinous, of the universe, of nature. So creatures gave birth to Yokahu. She also gave birth to another um, sacred being, um, Guacal. But Guacal just disappears. They said he was jealous of Yokahu, of Yokahu, what Yokahu was creating. He, Yokahu was creating order. You know, and then Yokahu gives birth. I mean, Atabe gave birth to Guaque, who Guacal, who grew jealous of Yokahu, and he disappears into the mountains. Again, there's that dualism as well. There's Yokahu that brings order, and Guacal is like disorder or chaos. He just disappears into the into the mountains, and so you have a triad there. There's a triad. Now in this song, I don't bring Guacal. I'm still studying Guacal. And as we all know, jealousy can be a very powerful energy force in our lives. It can destroy relationships, it can destroy careers and other people's careers. So um, it's a powerful energy that we have to avoid. So here's the key. In this song, Okama, Okama. Then I go, Yokahu Bagua Marokoti. So 
Okama, Okama, Yokahu, Bagua, Maracoti. And then I'm going to go into the feminine, Atabe. Okama, Okama, Atabe, Suimako. So right there, I mentioned two names, Atabe and Suimako. If you hit, if you hit a video, you don't have to strictly go the way I sing it. As long as you have the um, logistics, the words, and just follow your heart. So let me just sing it one once. Ready? Okama, okama, yokahu ba guamarokoti. Okama, okama, atabe suimako. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce another term, uh, Taino Ti. Back in the 90s, I first heard this um, this term in the Taino movement. And Taino Ti was like when we greeted each other, it was like a blessing. We gave each other a blessing. Uh, Taino Ti, you know, whenever when, when I was gifted with something, we would say Taino Ti, you know, blessings to you and so on. So when I introduced this term, it kind of invokes the Taino movement. So I say... Taino ti, oh, taino, taino ti. So as we know, taino means goodness, noble. La buena gente, many people refer to it. So um, the good people. And then, and then ti is the, you know, it's the blessing, taino ti, you know, offering a blessing. So what I'm doing is when I'm singing that song, when I'm singing those words in the song, what I'm referring to is, wow, I'm receiving blessings. Why? Because Yokahu and Atabe is with me right now. What a blessing. Okay. So listen, I'm li please listen to me. Please listen to me. Then I go, um, Yokahu, Yokahu, so I'm, I'm asking, you know, the sacred, you know, masculine to be with me. And then I'm asking Atabe to listen to me, you know. And wow, what audacity, right, for a human being to ask the sacred beings to come. Well, hey, guess what? This is what our ancestors believe. You know, we would, you know. We're living. We're living in us in both a physical and a spiritual world. So why not? So, so listen, listen. Yokahuba wa marakoti. Listen, listen. Atabe osuimako and taino ti, taino ti. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I'm receiving blessings, and then I repeat the words constantly in the song. Um, and I'm trying to feel that energy, that positive, powerful energy that comes from the creatress and the creator, the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. You know, it's all over the world. Um, and many people have both. You know, the I mean, in, in the psychological world, in the psychology world, we talk about uh, that we all have that masculine, feminine energy in us. And also there's many people of the two spirit um, community that, that possess that, that manifests as energies. So it's very important to understand our ancestors were definitely one with this understanding of the sacred masculine and feminine. And why not? The the supreme being is masculine and feminine. Guama. Now that's another word I introduce at the end is guama. Guama means Lord. Okay, so it's giving honor to to Yokahu as this Lord, this powerful um, being. And then I go into um, Atabe. Atabe suimako mamuna yokahu wama. So I, I introduce her titles. Um, 
so I got Atabe, I got Sui Mako, and then um, then I got um, Mamona, and then I put Yokahu at the end. It's it's that energy of giving birth to the masculine, giving birth to Yokahu. Um, Guaracapita you could also use in there, but that's another term for Atabe. But I like I, I like those three words, you know, the sacred three. I try to keep it. And then the sacred four, Guaracapita, we want to put it there as well. It's up to you. You be pot, you, you know, you create what you want to create. I'm just giving you a basis, okay? So it's very important to understand that you have, you have Okama, listen, listen, listen to me. And then you have um atabe if you start with the sacred feminine the mother then you got yokahu then you bring it all together you're you're kind of um acknowledging that you know you are part of this creation story and that you you need to be listened to why because we want that blessing we want to experience the blessing we acknowledge the sacred so Thank you so much for listening and watching, and hopefully I'll catch you soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with the twelve sacred semis, and and how to sing that one, and that's gonna take some detail into explaining who are these semis and what's the role in our life. So thank you so much, Okama, Okama, Atabe, Yokahu Wama. Thank you so much for listening. And one of the things that I use is these beads to help me think of the, the words. I'll introduce these beads later on in another show. But check out my, my stream on uh, Taino Meditation Beads. It helps you uh, remember the names as you meditate. Thank you so much.